But Io Sky comes down to make the save with a springboard drop kick. She also knocked out Tiffany Stratton, Belair Cargill, then knocked down Rodriguez. Sky, Naomi, Belair, and Cargill all stand tall in the ring to take out Naya and the four baby faces close the show all together in the ring. So it looks like we're building that women's war games match here. It looks like this women's war games match could essentially be Bianca, Jade, Io, Naomi, there's four, Naya, Tiffany, Liv, Raquel. There's the other four. So that could essentially be our war games match. What do you think? Wouldn't be bad. I mean, I know we kind of discussed it or like either before. Yeah. I think we discussed it before, like we went on. Well, the beginning of the show because we had that super chat. Yeah, but yeah, that's probably not. That's probably the best move, honestly. So here's my one gripe, and this is going back to something Triple H said earlier this year. Triple H said that he doesn't like the gimmick pay per views where you have a specific match and then have to book something for it, a la Hell in a Cell or TLC. But he's still doing war games where oh. It's Survivor Series. That means we got to randomly make a War Games match for the men and then one for the women. So it's like even... Like there's no story here. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like just going back 30 years where you would take different feuds, throw them together, and there's your Survivor Series match. So that's now what War Games is. We're no longer going to get the traditional Survivor Series. We're not going to get a men's War Games and a women's War Games as our Survivor Series match. And again, like I stated back in the day, you would take, you know, a Hulk Hogan feud and somebody else's feud, put them all on one team. It's a whole thing. So it makes sense for what Survivor Series has been in the past, but at the same time, it does feel a little conjumbled. 